Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and as you can see, I did some money grinding. I haven't bought anything with it yet, but I at least wanted to have enough money so that I could do this. Because this is where one of the heart pieces are, and I figured I might as well get this over with now, and... Oh. I was expecting that to cost 25 pieces for some reason, I don't know. Yeah, and have to get rid of all the little fish first. Because I'm aiming for the big fish that's right underneath me. If I can get it, get the big one without getting the little one, aha! There we go. Well, that didn't take as long as I was expecting. Nope, I'm good. I, and I got a money profit profit after it, too. Alright, now that that's taken care of... Might as well do some map completion, I guess. <laughs> Which means I probably should get the ones down the that bottom left corner, but that's... I don't think those areas are relevant to anything, so... So, I honestly not sure what there is ah, for me to say at this point. It's just... I'm hoping that I... my memory can kind of serve me well in going through these places, because while I do have I probably said this last time too, but I have quite a bit of experience with this and level 1. But it has been quite some time since I last played, so... There's a key. And apparently some of the torches can hurt you. We've got the compass. You see where the chests of nightmare key are hidden. And we'll actually be told if there's a key in the room. Very nice. And I don't think there's any other way of dealing with those things as opposed besides sending them off a ledge. And you can see where all the treasures are. Even besides the keys. Uh, what do we have? Oh, okay, a key. Hopefully I'll be able to skip that text later on. Uh, I see... bomb spots, but I don't have bombs. JOY! <laughs> uh, this game can be silly sometimes. There we go that thing. Uh, I don't know if there's any bomb spots that aren't marked. But I could always just bang my sword against the wall and test them if I... If, yep. And I have to use... When it said to shield you can flip things over, that's what it meant. Oh. Yep, Mario enemies! And if you stomp Goombas, they always drop hearts. Always good. Ah, I see where I am now. And we get the item of the level, the Rock's Feather, which allows us to jump. I believe this is the first game that this item appeared in, so... Definitely makes things more convenient, slash, possible. And that, uh, stone tablet, if you get the... the missing piece, you can get a clue to the... for something else in the dungeon. Don't remember what exactly. Go ahead and 
grab the key. And I don't know if that this is actually what they are, but I've always treated these things as bubbles, even though they don't jinx you. I saw a treasure chest up there, and do I have... Yeah, I just I got a key, duh. And the nightmare key. Alright. Now, I thought there would be bombs in here, but I guess maybe not. I haven't even gotten the map yet, either. Uh... Was there a pathway... Whoa, hello. Ah, yes, I think there was. Well, at least I'm getting a good bit of money. And piece of power! Ha! Destroy everything! And there's the map. Okay. Is there any... Just that one room that I believe has a seashell in it. And that's a one-way door. Uh, that's, well, there's something up here. Ah, yes, these things. Whew. If you if you match up all the uh, all the uh, suits, they 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 all die. And I think this one says the same thing as the other ones. So let's see. Turn aside the spike spined ones with the shield. Okay. And it makes sense for the one in the room with the spinies. To, that one probably says the same thing. And hello, mini boss. Uh oh. Well, thankfully I still had my piece of power active, even though the music didn't say it. And that is a warp to the beginning, to the beginning of the dungeon. Uh, that's just the way back, I think. Because... Buzz Buzz Outsider. Oh dear. Is my piece of power still active? Because that's the only way that I can kill that thing in two hits. Okay, and we get our first instrument. It's a cello, I believe? Full moon cello, yeah. Sound count site he seems kinda of distorted there. Swamp, a path opens in the blooms. And the owl is just sitting there this time. That is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north, in Goponga Swamp. Hoot, indeed. Uh, okay then. So, you didn't know about the mysterious voice that told me where to go? Fair enough. And since I'm gonna be, I'm not even gonna worry about the, oh my. Hey, but, oh dear, what's going on? Moblins came to the village. They all went to the house. They did something at Bow Wow's house. Alright. Yeah, they seem to have gone into hysterics at this point. And Bow Wow's gone. Oh dear.
Yeah, because Bow Wow can't handle himself. Well, we have another goal in mind, I guess. And now with the feather, I can go to places I couldn't before, like getting that one heart piece that was around here. Can't do anything about the one in this cave. Not yet, anyway. Ah, fairy. I don't think there was anything here last time I came by because I was at full health. Which kind of makes things simple, I guess. Uh, am I even going? I don't think I'm going the right way. I know there was the heart piece over here. Haha. <laughs> well, that's three. Aha! Uh -huh. The windfish in name only, for it is neither. Well, look who what we found! Ah. Was trying to get fancy. Silly me. Alright, let's go rescue Bow Wow. You must be an, ass an assassin. <laughs> oh my, you are taking this way too seriously. And the only way to damage him is by letting him ram himself into a wall. And then you can just damage him however you see fit. I don't think th I... is it... I'm not sure if there's a pattern to when he charges. Just have to have to be alert and be get out of the way before you get hurt. And we don't get much, but there is one thing that we do get. You save Bow Wow, what a fearsome beast. This thing Besides being a chain chomp, really, uh, this thing has an endless appetite. This guy will eat anything. And ooh, I don't think I had ever seen this conversation before. Hoot! That is a fearsome-looking animal you have there. Do not forget, the next instrument is in Kaponga Swamp. Apparently, I'd never gone this way after <laughs> getting Bow Wow back. Uh. Is there a seashell under one of these? No. Yep. Remember what I said about his appetite? I wasn't kidding. And I do still get item drops when Bow Wow eats something. And I can't go around this way because of all the blocks in the way. Power. All right. All right. Then I can cut my way through here. I think. Eh. I want to say. Well, I I know who lives here. I can't do anything here yet. It's going to be part of the trading cycle. What's what's in here? And you have to be careful around the spiked floors because I'm not. I'm gonna leave that thing be because if you stand too long on one of them, it'll break and you'll fall. And ooh, more money. Nice. I'm almost got enough to just go ahead and get the shovel already. So, what do we have up this way? Music. The fish stirs in the egg. You are there. Okay. 
And I don't think I ever explained it, but the uh, the uh, phone booths here basically you can talk to uh, Orira who lives in town, and he'll only actually say anything if you talk to him on the phone because he's kind of shy. And basically, if you're ever stuck somewhere with nowhere to go, you can just talk to him, and he apparently knows things. Uh. I know there was a treasure s somewhere around here. Ah, so I can't just jump over it. Fair enough. Oh, that's where the treasure is. Alright. How much money do I ha get for this? Fifty! Well, okay then. You know what? I feel like going through this place. It's a level two bottle grotto. Oh, yes. This requires use of the magic powder. Hopefully, I'll have enough. Uh, I'll go this way first. Ah, yes, a guy that... Oh, that's a shy guy. I, th I thought it was a shy guy, but it wasn't. Sure. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. It had to be f f directly from behind. And the compass. And I can't skip the text. Darn it. Oh, well. Oh, that's a shame. I have to go through that text, what, six more times? And what do we have here? Ooh, another key. Alright. Ah, there's some more magic powder. Well, that's good. Another small key. Don't think I need to hit that switch, though. Ah, then there's that key. I might as well go back and get that. Hit the switch again. I know there was a locked door the other way, but because it requires using magic powder every single time to get to this side, I'm gonna try and get the, make the most of this current trip over here that I'm in. Well, at least I can skip that. That, is it going to say that same thing every single time I touch a pot? Even after I get the power bracelet? Because, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. It's just a matter of where is it? Well, I saw enough of this place during the time it was briefly lit, so... Hello. I did I forgot about the fact that he can grab you. But that was that. Plus now I don't have to use the magic powder at all anymore, I don't think. I might as well see if I if there's anything that pops up. No. Nope. A fragment of a stone slab. Well, the... Ah. Darn you. Might as well see what this thing says. 
First defeat the imprisoned Pole's voice. Last Stalfos. I thought that clue was in was well, that puzzle was in here. And more money. Do I have yes I have keys. Oh dear. <laughs> well that worked. Oh, and there's the power bracelet. Okay. Well, I bet if I'm not, if I don't have the thing equipped, I bet it'll still give me that same stupid message. Uh, another key. Uh, you know what? You're not worth the effort. Uh, and I haven't even gotten the map yet. First the imprisoned Pole's voice, last Stalfos. First things first, make him so he's not imprisoned, and... Oh dear. There we go. Then the keys. Then the Stelphos. And there's the nightmare key. Alright. So where... Okay. Oh, a secret passage. And I know I need a pot for this one because this one has a bit more resistance. Huh. So I could just go to the boss, beat the boss now. Alright. That's cool. I can always come back and clear the rest of this place out later. Do I have an extra key? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. Alright. Well, what you do is you pick up the bottle and heave it. And you have to do this, I think, two or three times before the bottle, go the bottle gets destroyed. But you have to deal with his juggling act for a little bit. As long as you're moving a little bit, he won't hit you. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Wow, you, you broke my bottle. Why, you, you make me hopping mad. Oh, yes, and he has this little mechanic. Now, I'm not sure if... There we go. I guess I was getting hit through that. I didn't even realize it. And we get the conch horn. Yeah, that sound seems really off. Prairie, prairie, the prairie is waiting. And before I end things off, there is at least one, there's one more thing that I want to show off. Because the windfish's egg is right up this way. Hoot, the windfish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. When you play the eight siren instruments in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave the island. <laughs> And there was actually a thing I was 
thinking about showing off, but I can't actually do that yet because I don't have the item required. But if you uh, try to play the incomplete set of instruments, the music will play, but like I said, it'll be incomplete and won't actually accomplish anything, but it's kind of a neat thing. So, I guess join me next time. I'm going to go ahead and buy the shovel now that I can afford it. I might money grind for the uh, bow as well, just to get that out of the way. And, but I won't do anything that's plot relevant in the meantime. So, I guess join me next time when I do things. So, until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.